I've never had a acai bowl. Make sure you get the overnight oats yeah. and peanut butter in there. Seconds, that's good. Seconds is usually good. I'll take first. Heads up, I'm not the healthy guy. I don't even know where to begin. You can tell Sam eats healthy. He doesn't even know how to bite a sandwich. <laughs> is there actually chips in here? Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of Exploring New York. This is the Westchester edition. Sam has done us the pleasure today of bringing us uh, here to Bobo's Cafe. So let's go check it out. So I'm here with the owners at Bobo's, Craig and Glenn. Uh, I'm gonna ask them a few questions about how they started the business, why they started the business, and uh, we'll kind of just go from there. Who started it? It was me, my brother, and uh, my father. Uh, we started in 2016, been going ever since then. And why did you happen to put it, you know, in Northern Westchester, comparative to like anywhere else? I actually worked at the pizzeria right next door over here. One day my dad went in and he asked the previous owners if they were looking to sell and they were, it was like perfect timing. And then the rest is history. Where'd the name Bobo's come from? It was our grandfather's nickname. So his name was Paul, everyone called him Bo. And uh, we thought it was, uh, it was a catchy name and just a good way to honor him. So the classic slogan, Bo Knows. We have to give credit to Bo Jackson. Uh, so uh, that's kind of Nike's thing, but we made it our thing. Yeah, you so, got it on your shirt. Yeah, yeah you, got it, you got it on your shirt right, right there. So, until someone says otherwise, we're kind of just going to keep rolling with it. So yeah, that's All it. All right, yeah. <laughs> well, we, won't, we won't talk to Nike about this. All right, so you guys have immense expansion. What made you expand into those specific regions? Just opportunity. Uh, and it felt right. There's no like other rhyme place. or reason for each place. With Baldwin, we're familiar with the area, the community, uh, so we knew that would be a hit. And then uh, Chappaqua, very community oriented. Um, location was awesome and we just felt like we could do something there. So being young entrepreneurs, any advice you would give someone? If it's not your passion and you're not gonna give it 130%, um, don't do it. Find something that you do feel passionate about because a lot of the work that we do here uh, doesn't happen within these four walls. So you gotta give it everything. It, it, it becomes your, your life and, and we love it, so. What's your favorite dish? You know, I mean, there's so many on there. Yeah. What Acai obviously is like my favorite, my like favorite indulgence, but um, probably the bowl pack for like breakfast and lunch because it kind of like hits like both. But it's not just the bowl pack. You have a special recipe that you make with the yeah, bowl pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we what's... doctored up. That's what I like about the bowl pack is it's so like versatile and like people add like bacon, people add avocado. There's like so much like you could do to that like item. So like we all have our own like different versions of like the bowl pack that we like. So Craig, what's your bowl pack? What's Craig's bowl pack? Oh man. Oh, I kind of like going waves. Right now, I got to give credit to Glenn. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's, it's sweet potato base. Uh, normally goat cheese, but right now I've been on like the vegan cheese kick. Uh, scrambled eggs, and there's corn sauce on top. Instead of corn salsa, I put pico de gallo, which is like tomatoes, onions, cilantro, stuff like that. Oh yeah. And uh, hot sauce. How about you, Glenn? What's your favorite? Loaded question. I've been making my my own concoction. <laughs> yeah. Egg salad. It's, What's yeah, up with the egg salad? salad. Uh, avocado, egg salad, hot sauce, arugula, a little bit of lemon vinaigrette, and tomatoes. Uh, open-faced it's of course it's phenomenal I'm gonna have to really take good. that recording yeah, yeah, yeah. and get one of those it sounds pretty good Sam is obsessed with this place okay. I am yes I I come here that's, every single weekend and I needed Jimmy to try this so that's why we're here yeah. heads up I'm not the healthy guy so this is gonna be something whether it's like pass or fail for me because I'm not a healthy guy I've never had a acai bowl mm -hmm. so same thing this is either gonna be a love or hate thing. This stuff definitely lo looks a lot more fattening to my taste. <laughs> so uh, these two items I think I'm gonna have no problem with. Why don't you go ahead and tell us exactly what we're looking at here. Yeah. This is uh, the Chaga Chino. So this is our new like healthy uh, mushroom tea, if you will. Almost tastes like chai, if you guys have had chai. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the coffee first. Sam's already had the coffee. He says he absolutely I, loves I it. I love the coffee, yeah. I, I'm obsessed with coffee in general. Honestly, too, before I go there, so Seconds, that's good. Right. Seconds is usually good. <laughs> yes, sir, you can walk across. By the way, have you ever tried the Chugachino? <laughs> Chagachino? Chagachino. It's actually really good. It's not too sweet. Yeah, from here. 
It's not too small. No, you're good. That's my uncle. <laughs> oh, sorry. He brought all of his family here for the video. I don't know. I don't know, but it is good. It's not overly sweet. It's actually, you can taste the coffee in it. So, or it tastes like coffee. Is there coffee in yeah, it? Yeah, we threw espresso on that. Oh, yeah? Let's yeah. oh, see. Do they do that for you, Miss Uncle? <laughs> no, no, no. We don't he allow, says, let we me get out of here before. You to drink it. No? Yeah. No? <laughs> you don't get union breaks? No, no, no. <laughs> you charge your own family that? more? You believe that? Wow. Could have got anyone better. Do you think this is worse? Look, look, look what he gives his. Give me this. Look what he gives his uncle. He gives his uncle bottled stuff and he gives me. This is recording, right? You didn't press it. Let me just make sure you didn't turn it off. All right, so yeah, that's actually really good. This is um, our acai bowl. This is our all uh, custom built. So I know Sam likes to do overnight oats. What, peanut butter, mango, yeah. blueberry, strawberry. Make sure you get the overnight oats yeah. and peanut butter in there. So, so Jimmy, I know you don't like healthy stuff, but what do you think about this healthy thing? I could definitely eat this. Uncle, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's really good. It's just, I don't know if I would sacrifice a sandwich like the number one to have this in the morning. This is the number one sandwich that we have. It's called the number one for that reason. It is our most ordered sandwich. It's bacon, egg, and cheese hash brown, avocado, and our homemade creamy sriracha uh, on a house-made croissant. Are you sandwich. taking first bite? I'll take first bite. Oh my God, look at that. I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, like, it's right there. <laughs> you can tell Sam eats healthy. He doesn't even know how to bite a sandwich. How, how could that be bad? The sriracha makes it too. Yeah. Right, yeah, that sriracha? That on, yeah, you put that on burnt toast, that's good. That's your Definitely, speed. yeah, I would do. That's your speed. Yeah, this is my speed. Like, if I'm coming in and I just want something to kickstart the morning, but this isn't really fattening. Like, sure, it has croissant, but avocado's good for you. Yeah, it's a little diverse. You got your Eggs meat, good for yeah, you. You got, dairy. got a little protein. That's all right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, so good. that's really good. No, I'm not even saying that to say it. I know they say you're supposed to have one bite when you I know, you're yeah, supposed yeah, to have yeah, one yeah, bite, yeah, but bite. I'm like, all right. Uh, there's no such thing as a one bite here. Uh, over here we have the Nacho Libre, which is probably the most uh, ordered lunch item. And we actually did a little substitution. Normally it has grilled chicken, but for this we did a hot honey buffalo chicken cutlet. And it's uh, lettuce, avocado, our house-made creamy sriracha, corn salsa, some tortilla strips, and the chicken cutlet. You should try this, because this is chips with hot honey on it. I'm usually not a chip guy, but like with the hot honey, it's like, it, it almost makes it. Like it's different, it's so different. Yeah. Do you Basic. make the hot honey here? No, no, I That's good. Don't do the hot honey here. That's really good. That's actually Mike's hot honey. Shout out to Mike's hot honey. I'm thinking awesome. like Mike's hard lemonade. That has nothing to do with it. I, I was right. thinking Frank's red hot. Uh. <laughs> like if you have a name and you made something, we're thinking of it. We're thinking of you. Frank's red hot and <laughs> Mike's hard lemonade. That's this it. Is what you get. That's what's in it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's really good. All right, All right, you ready for this thing? Yeah. I'm like actually excited. I've never tried this, so this is a first. Cheers. Cheers. I don't even know. It's just exploding with flavor. I taste Doritos, I taste honey chicken. It's just like there's a thousand different flavors, so I really don't even know. And it has beans. And I hate beans, but I can't tell. So I guess it's really good. I can't think of a better name to name that sandwich, the Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre? I think that's what's going on in your mind. <laughs> like literally when you're eating that. Like if you've seen the movie Nacho Libre and you've seen the portion where Jack Black is yelling nacho, nacho? that's what your <laughs> mind is doing when it tastes this sandwich. It's doing the same exact thing. And there's a nice little kick to it. There's almost like- Yeah, right now, I was about to say the that. The spice is there. It's that hot honey butter yeah. chicken. So is this how the Nacho Libre always comes? Or? No, it usually comes with grilled chicken. So you have to get the... the it is. Yeah, you could sub it out. Sub it out with regular chicken cutlet or the hot honey. He heard me when I said I was a fat boy. That's why he put the breaded chicken in there is instead there of actually, the grill. Is there actually chips in here? Yeah. Tortilla strips. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think that's where I'm getting that, that Dorito-style yeah. taste to it. That's the move. You ever put Doritos in your sandwich? That's like... How, you ever make a Dorito sandwich? <laughs> no. When you have nothing else <laughs> in the house but Doritos yeah. and bread? <laughs> Well, listen, I definitely approve of the sandwich. I think my, if I came here and I was starving, I'm definitely going with the wrap. 
if I came here for breakfast, I'm definitely going with the number one and the coffee. The coffee's actually really good, and I like that it's not overly sweet. And then the acai bowl, it tastes really good. It's just, like, I can't see me spending my own money to buy something to eat this healthy. It's just not me. So you said you come here all the time. Do you find yourself ordering the acai bowl more or something like that? Acai bowl, always. Like, my, my girlfriend, so she lived in Long Island and she would come up to North Salem where I'm from and she would basically make me take her to Bobo's to get an acai bowl every time she would come up. Now of course we're living together in North Salem but before then it was like come here and she's like okay you're taking me to Bobo's and we're going yeah. to get an acai bowl. So we go to the gym actually anytime fitness right over there in Somers and then after the gym Healthy. we come here. No stop it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well that's just that's just what we do it's gotta, it gotta move make sure he doesn't clog the arteries. All right, well, this place was absolutely amazing. I'm glad I did come here. This food is awesome. And now I have had an acai bowl for the first time in my life. So that's awesome too. Anything you'd like to say? No, nothing. I'm just so happy to have you guys here. Excellent. So he's Thank happy yeah, to have us. us. Other places you know that you want us to check out, feel free to drop a comment down below. We're always looking for good places to try out. See you next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.